Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms. And today, it is time to reveal the brand new tractor that we got on our farm. So guys, I apologize already. Um, the one clip where I had, it was like a five minute walk around on this brand new tractor. I cannot find it. So we're going to make do with what we got. I told you guys I'd reveal this tractor today and we're going to do that. But we're also going to kind of share a little bit of the story on the lost GoPro that I found. So if you guys look in the top right, there's a card. If you guys aren't familiar or haven't seen that video, I did lose my GoPro chiseling a couple days ago. So check that out. But I'm going to show that, explain that story to you guys afterwards. But Right now, as you guys can see, we have a 340 brand new Case IH Magnum on our farm. So the big reason why we had to get this thing was because our we knew our New Holland uh, T8050 wasn't going to last. Uh, it wasn't going to be a very reliable workhorse for, because it has over 4,000 hours on it. And as you guys can see from the picture right now, it doesn't have a radiator. We actually, the cooling fan blew up on us and went through the radiator and took that out. So we're currently trying to fix that, but we essentially needed this tractor to put on in Hydrus. So... That's why we really have it. We got, um, we are actually leasing this tractor. It worked out so much better financially. We got a heck of a deal on this lease. So we are actually leasing this tractor. It is brand new, 2018 340 Magnum. It is all it is all dueled up around the outside on all tires. It has a Case IH Pro 700 full guidance package, full. Uh, top of the line LED light package as you guys can see seven and a half hours on it right now It's got a lot more than that because we've been using it for it in the last week But it is a beaut of a tractor. I cannot wait to run it. It's got full front suspension it, It's just about fully loaded. I cannot remember exact the exact specs on it, but it's full ballasted It's got the 30 mile an hour package. It's just a beautiful tractor and I cannot wait to run it so the plans for this tractor, it's a 400-hour lease, so it should be it should cover just about anything that we ever do to it. Our New Holland, we've owned it for about 10 years, and we've put 4,000 hours on it, so that's about 400 hours a year. But what we plan on doing with it is, it, as you guys can see, it's on the toolbar right now, putting an anhydrous, which is a big form of nitrogen for us. It's our only form of nitrogen for our crops. So it's going to do that. It's all, We're going to put it on our... I'm just going to wait on that one, but we actually have another big purchase that I might have just gave it away, but you guys are going to find out in the next, probably in two videos from now, but if you guys have any guesses on that, and we're also going to be putting it on the grain cart probably this fall, so it's going to get quite a bit of use on this farm, and it's going to be a great addition to the farm no matter what we do. Um, we have it for three years, and we are really, really looking forward to it, so, but anyway, uh, now we're going to stay tuned, and be sure to stay tuned, guys, because now I'm going to show you guys a little bit more about the uh, Lost GoPro. Well, guys, we're going to try the first tillage of 2019. There's a few surrounding guys going around us today. Um, so we thought we'd uh, we'd give her a try. So we'll see how she goes here.
So, as you can see, I found the GoPro right here, right in the middle of the dirt. I would not have found it if it wasn't for a metal detector because it was buried. But it was literally five feet after, we, or five feet right before we stopped. So if we would have stopped like ten feet sooner, it wouldn't have happened. But I just set the magnet, to, or the GoPro, too close to the disc gangs, and it threw dirt up, and it actually just hit, knocked the GoPro off. But... Oh well guys, lesson learned, never put it there again, or don't put it in a dangerous spot because I was freaking out. So, This is just some video I got on the day we received the new tractor of Curtis Chiseling, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that to close out the video. But again guys, I apologize for not, for not getting a... Tr for losing my uh, footage of walking around the case tractor, I'll be sure to do a full walk around once we actually uh, calm down from all the spring work. Just finished up this field there. It's didn't take too long, but a little wet in some places yet. This is a field that we put a lot of manure on, so, you know, that underneath the soil didn't get much drying, so that manure was covering it. But for the most part, we get it all worked up. Gets drying out. It looks good otherwise. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Just so you guys know, we have a lot of videos coming, a lot of cool drone footage coming. We got uh, some putting on in hydra, some spraying, some chiseling. We're fixing up the planter, so we got a lot of videos recorded. And they're going to be coming out. We do are do we are doing videos every two days, so be sure to tune in for them. And if you guys have made it this far, it would mean a lot to me if you guys would just go ahead and hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner. It mean a lot. Be sure to like and comment if you guys have any questions. Be sure to comment. We still have one other big purchase coming this spring. Do you guys have any any thoughts on it? What is it? So be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys uh, do enjoy it, do enjoy our content, be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram for more up-to-date posts. And of course, guys, as always, ta-ta for now.